Assalamualaikum Siaran langsung ini dibawakan khas kepada anda oleh Akademi Youtuber Malaysia Sebuah inisiatif Edidate Malaysia dan Kelab Guru Malaysia Tumbukan perhatian anda Siaran langsung akan bermula sebentar lagi Link sijil akan diberikan di hujung siaran ini Pastikan diisi dalam tempoh yang ditetapkan Terima kasih Good evening, teachers, parents, and all the wonderful students. Welcome to Pusat Academic YouTuber, Bermula Percuma Selamanya Percuma. How are you doing today? I hope all of you are ready for today's lesson. Before we proceed, let's begin our session by reciting the prayer according to your own religion. Let me introduce myself. I'm Teacher Tong from College Matriculasi Selangor, the moderator of the day. We at the Pusat Academy YouTuber will provide you with free online classes. Let's take this opportunity to do your revision. So, are you ready? Let me introduce our teacher for today's lesson. We have Teacher Tong from College Matriculasi Perak. We are now live on Teacher Kong's channel. Please support the channel by clicking right now. The topic of today's lesson is Introduction to Organic Chemistry. And together with us, we also have Teacher Bibi Lau from Pusat Tinggalkan Enam SNK in the club, who is the control host to ensure the smoothness of our lesson on chemical support. And Jago Mawal, from KPM as the observer to ensure the smoothness of our lesson. So before we begin, I have a few reminders to all of you. First, please pay attention to our lesson. Stop chatting and use the chat sessions wisely. Number two, regarding certificate link, the link will be given at the end of our sessions. Please use EDDEC account when you fill in your particulars. And make sure to listen to the passport given by me throughout the lesson. Before starting the class, I shall give you the first two class codes, which are A1. So the first two class codes are A1. So without further ado, let's welcome Teacher Kwon to start the class. Uh. Hi. Okay, sound clear, image clear. Um, clear, Mr. Kong. Okay, thank you. So let's start our today lesson. Oh, welcome back. Uh. Happy New Year, everyone. So, okay, before we start, right, I, I would like to introduce my chemistry, uh, my pre u chemistry team, who led by teacher Shanun, uh, Chegu Shanun, Sir Shanun, and then, okay, four, okay, three of them are my teammates, teacher Vivi Lau as the uh, control host, teacher Tang as the moderator, and Che Kumawa as the observer. Thank you very much. Okay, next, right, is the mathematics team, who led by teacher Im, and then next is, Okay, biology team who lead by Madam Faiza. Okay, physics team who lead by Madam Rosmaya. And account and economy team who lead by Madam Fizi. 
Okay, so I'm Teacher Kong. Welcome back to our class. Okay, please stay tuned with us on every Sunday, 3.30 p.m. Okay, so um, I'm from Parrot Matriculation College. I have around uh, 12 years experience in teaching. So please do remember, subscribe my channel. Okay, Kong Shui Li channel. Here is my working place, College Matriculacy Para. Okay, please do remember, subscribe, uh, like and share. Thank you. Okay, so today our topic right is about introduction to organic chemistry. So before we start, right, okay, I want you all right try to look at this picture. Okay, if you go to supermarket, right, okay, there is a special department. Okay, we'll we'll for, allocate for the organic food. For example, organic vegetable. Okay, and then organic ingredients or organic poultry. So actually, right, for what is organic chemistry? So actually, any Thing that related or right, okay, like animal, plants, okay, are considered as bio, are as considered as organic, okay, without the use of chemical, fertilizer, pesticide, or other artificial chemical to grow them, okay, then that one considered as organic compound. Okay, so let's look at organic chemistry. Organic chemistry, right, is the chemistry of carbon compound. So carbon. So that could be obtained from life, living organism, okay, contain hydrogen as well as carbon, while other common elements included um, oxygen, nitrogen, halogen, like bromine, fluorine, chlorine, sulfur, and phosphorus. I see it as simple or complex molecule. Okay, they can see as gases, liquid, or solid. Can be colorless or can be color. Okay, but you have to bear in mind that not all carbon compounds right, are organic. So for example, okay, CO3, okay, carbo, uh, carbon, carbon, uh, carbonate ion, cyanide ion, bicarbonate ion, and carbon monoxide right, are not organic compound. So this right we study in, in organic chemistry. So today we focus on organic chemistry. So for our syllabus, right, introduction to organic chemistry actually is chapter four for matriculation syllabus. It divided to four parts. The first part is molecular and structural formula. The second part is about functional group and homologous series. And then the third part is about isomerism. Okay, the four, uh, part number four, right, is reaction in organic compound. So today we focus on uh, molecular and structural formula. But before that, I want to show you the overview for each part. Okay, so please pay attention, students. Okay, so the first part is about structural formula. It divided to expanded structure, condensed structure, skeletal structure. Under this topic, right, we have to know about the classification of carbon compound and hydrogen atom as well. Classification of carbon atom and hydrogen atom. Okay, for 4.2, right, we focus on functional group and homologous series. So we must know what is functional group, homologous series, and homologs. Okay, so you check here. Okay, classification of organic compound. These are the summary. Okay, there are, I think, around 30, maybe 30. Okay, and then you must know the name of the class of compound. And then you know, must know the structure of the compound. And then after that, you must know the name of the, the functional group as well. Okay, so don't always confuse between class of compound and functional group name. Eh? So you have to stay, take note. Eh? So the class of compound for our heme, right, is Carbon, carbon uh, is uh, the functional group is carbon carbon double bond, but the class of compounds name is alkyl, and then the structure is C double bond C. So when a structure is given, right, you must know how to identify it. Uh. So this lesson, right, will be covered on next week, I think. Okay, so part three is about isomerism. Wow, okay, so the most important thing you must know isomerism divided to two parts structural or constitutional isomer, and then the second part is pure isomerism. So based on here, right, you must know the definition and then the classification of each of the, the group, okay? How, how the division of the group. Once you know the division of the group, you can classify it, then clearly, right, should be no problem for you all to study this topic. Okay, and then 4.4 is about, um, there are three parts. The first part is about the covalent bond cleavage. There are two, homolytic cleavage. Second is uh, heterolytic cleavage. After the cleavage, right, it will form free radical, carbocation or carbonation. Of course, we must know the classification of them, primary, secondary, or tertiary, and we must know, deduce the stability of the carbocation, carbonation, and free radical. 
Okay, the third part of four point four, right? There are four different types of organic reaction, which are addition, substitution, elimination, and rearrangement. Of course, we must know. Okay, under addition, right? There are two types of addition. Either it is either it are electrolytic, electrophilic addition or nucleophilic addition. And then for substitution, there are three: free radical substitution, electrophilic aromatic substitution, for, because this one is benzene ring, or electrophilic substitution or new conflict substitution okay so these are the overview for chapter introduction to organic chemistry okay so now let's start for our um to, today's topic is about uh, 4.1 so we must know all organic compounds right, actually consist of carbon atom okay so for properties of carbon right we must know okay it has four valence electrons Okay, four valence electron because carbon group 14, right? Okay, group 14. Okay, if you still remember group 14, okay, uh, there are four, uh, sorry, group, group 14, yeah, group 14, there are four valence electron. That's why it can form four covalent bond. Well, it form four covalent bond, right? It can form single bond, double bond, or triple bond. So there are three types of covalent bond. So single, double, and triple bond. Okay, just do a quick review. Huh? Okay, what type of hybridization for this carbon okay so try to remember okay this is a carbon which has single bond so what type of hybridization for this carbon and then how about that? the carbon with carbon carbon double bond and the carbon carbon with uh, and the carbon with carbon carbon triple bond so can you uh still remember chapter four uh under chemical bonding about hybridization do you remember okay so, student, you can try. Uh, actually, okay. Actually, you have to know. Okay. Four single bond actually is sp3 hybridization. And then this one, multiple bond, we consider as one bonding. That's why they are free bonding. So, under sp2, trigonal planar. And then this one, okay. Triple, even though triple bond, we consider as one bonding. So, there are two, two bonds. Okay. sp2 hybridization. Okay. So, the name is linear. Yeah, so this is a simple review because we must know uh, okay, because later we have to um identify chiral carbon. So chiral carbon must be sp3 carbon. So why sp3 carbon? So you have to remember is the carbon with four single bond. Uh? Okay. Okay, next is about the structure of organic compound. Okay. Um in form five, right? We keep on saying methane, ethane, propane, right? So we must know the structure of methane, CH4, means 1C with 4 hydrogen bond. So sorry, I show you all. Okay, means 1 carbon with 4 hydrogen bond. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this one is molecular formula. And then this one is one of the structural formula, which is an expanded structure. Okay, yeah? so based on this structure, we have to know the application of methane as well. So Based on this diagram, you know, right, is the um, fuel that we need when we cook, okay? Gas, electronics, okay? This is uh, natural gas. Natural gas is methane gas. Okay, and next is glucose. Glucose. For our food consumption, right, we intake a lot of glucose, okay? So the simplest, the simple sugar, we call it as glucose, or we call it more normal, okay? The more normal of sugar is glucose. Okay, still got others, fructose, lactose, and so on, huh? So actually, the structure right is quite complicated uh, for, for, for sugar. Okay, so this is sugar. Okay, so this is two examples for the organic compound. Okay, we have to know the use of organic compound as well. Uh. Uh, it can be in med medicine field, engineering field, biotechnology field, or agriculture field. Uh. So there are a few examples. Okay, the most recently that related with us is about biotechnology because pandemic COVID-19, right? So all the scientists uh, have to study the, uh, the, uh, the medicine that can cure COVID-19, okay? Yeah? So, okay, so actually for organic compound is quite important and related with our daily life, huh? Okay. So after a long story, like now let's start our, okay, main point. Huh? So for molecular and structural formula, right? We first, we must know define what is structural formula okay after define right we must show okay show means another form is draw okay 
you must know how to draw structural formula in the form of expanded, condensed, and skeletal structure based on the molecular formula. Okay, so just now I show you all right. CH four is the molecular formula, and then I show the example for expanded object is like this. Okay, okay, some sort like this. Huh? so now we go for a higher level, a uh, more complex structure. Okay. So the definition of structural formula is in three-dimensional form. Okay, so it's in three-dimensional three form. Show how the atoms in a molecule are bonded to each other. So as I mentioned just now, there are three expanded structure, condensed structure, and skeletal structure. Okay, so now we look at expanded structure. Expanded structure show how atoms are attached to each other but are not representation of the actual shape because structural formula is two-dimensional so it cannot represent the actual shape uh, okay, of the molecule. Okay, there are three molecular structures. Okay, now let's try to draw the expanded structure together. Okay. So there are four carbon. So I try to draw the simple one for the linear one. C, 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 C. Okay. Each carbon connect with each other by showing one bonding. Okay. And then next is um I prefer draw the special one, chlorine first. So the chlorine, right? You can put at the position number one or position number two. Both acceptable because in this case, um, based on the molecular formula, didn't mention which position should allocate for the chlorine. So I just put here chlorine. Okay, so and then I have to make sure that all the carbon right with four bonding. So the rest right actually is hydrogen. Okay, so four bonding for the carbon, one with hydrogen, two with hydrogen, three with carbon, and then four with chlorine. Okay, so next for the C2, okay, carbon at the position number two, okay, H, H, okay, H, 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 H. So I have to fill in all the hydrogen atom for the CH bond. So you check. You have to double check the number of hydrogen, uh, whether correct or not. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, correct. So this is the expanded structure for C4H9Cl. Okay, chlorine. Uh. Of course, the chlorine can put at carbon number two also, no problem. Uh. Okay, how about this one? Alcohol. Okay, so I draw the carbon first. And then, as we know, right, alcohol is with the functional group of OH. Okay, this is um, 4.2. Later, you know alcohol actually is OH. But I think you all know about it because you have learned in form 5. Okay. okay. So, and then I locate OH. And the cannot, uh, because we want to draw the expanded structure. So, you have to show the OH one as well. Okay. So, you have to show the OH one as well. I will show the OH bond. So OH can be here, left or right. Okay, now after I draw the OH, I right, remain five carbon. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is the expanded structure for this compound, this alcohol compound, which is ethanol. C2H5OH or C2H6O. Okay, next carboxylic acid. Okay, so actually it's more easier if we know the functional group. Uh. So carboxylic acid is C double bond O, OH. So I will try to draw three carbon first, C, 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 okay, with double bond O, and then O, H. Okay, so the last step, I will make sure that all the carbon with four bonding, okay, fill with a uh, hydrogen atom. Okay, so must double check, uh, because there are six hydrogen atoms, so double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, correct. Three oxygen, yes. Three carbon, yes. So these are the expanded structure for this three molecular formula. Okay, yeah. So this is the answer. Okay, you can double check. Okay. Until now, any question? Okay, yeah. If no question, right, we move on to condensed structure. Okay. So what is condensed structure? Just now we learned already expanded structure. Just expand everything and then show the bonding. Condensed. Is okay. Let me show you the point structure that does not show single bond. 
Okay, you no need to show the single bond between carbon and hydrogen atoms. But you have to show for the double and triple bond. Huh? You have to show for the double and triple bond. Okay, and then second point, all atoms that are attached to a carbon are written immediately after that carbon. Okay, so means after you draw the C, uh, you write down the C, right? Okay, the next, for example, for you have to that immediately, okay, just draw the CL. Okay, no need to show the bonding for any 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 atom that with single bond, but double and triple bond, you have to show it. Okay, again. Okay, we try three examples. Try to draw. Okay, this C, C4, cash 9 CL is uh, same like just now. Okay, so now we try to draw the condensed structure. For C4, cash 9 CL. Okay. For some of you, right, if you're not familiar, right, you can refer to the expanded structure, right? Just now you know the expanded structure is like this. Okay. If you're not familiar, never mind, you can try to draw the expanded structure. Actually, if you're familiar with that, you can straight away, you know, one carbon, okay, with three hydrogen bond, okay, and then attached with carbon, okay, H. And then this one is branches. Normally, branches, right, we can represent by, uh, by using bracket, okay. The branch represents the Corinth I bracket because it's branch. Okay, and then here we have two hydrogen, so CH2. And then the last C, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. So this one, CH3. Okay, so this one is the condensed structure for C4, H9, Cl. Okay, the second example, cyclopotene. Okay, protein means with four carbon. Okay, well, some of the students will be wow, very excited. Okay, protein, right? CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Ding, ding, this answer is wrong. If you check for the number of hydrogen, right, you will know, okay, 3, 2, 2, 3. So total is 10. But based on this molecular formula, only 8. So you have to take note cyclo. Cyclo, right? Okay, cyclo, it can be. So just now the answer is not correct. Okay. Here. Okay. Here we are. It should be like this. Cyclopotin. Okay. This one is cyclopotin, like a square. Okay, yeah, I hope you all know. Okay, C4H8. Okay, LD height. LD height, right, is C double bond O H. Okay, and then there are how many carbon? One, two. Okay, one, two. Okay, meaning that. Okay, wait a while, uh. okay one, two means C, C. Okay, with double bond O H. So this one is the functional group of aldehyde. But the question asks about condensed, right? Condensed, so you have to draw, okay, CH3. And then have to show the double bond O, uh, because double bond, triple bond have to show, and then H. Okay, it should be like this. So if you're not familiar with the condensed structure, is never mind. You can try to draw out the expanded structure and then draft, and then only proceed with the condensed structure. So, so these are the answer. Okay, so this is the CH3, CH, chlorine, okay, as the branch at the C2, CH2, CH3. And then this one is the condensed structure for cyclopotane. And then this one is the condensed structure for aldehyde, which is uh, etana. Okay, CH3, and then C double bond, OH, you have to show the double bond, uh, because according to the definition just now, Double bond and triple bond are shown. Okay, so let's check. Oh, sorry. Okay, do you notice that Madam Kong too excited already because I'm showing the skeletal structure. Okay, I'm showing the skeletal structure. This is the third part. Okay, so please take note. Huh? So by right, right, okay, Madam Kong at once show the skeletal structure. Okay, everybody, this one is skeletal structure. Okay, we have to show the C, C, C for the condensed structure. Okay, student, please take note. Huh? Don't be too excited like Madam Kong. Huh? For the condensed structure for cyclopotene, right, you have to show the C as well. C, C, C. 
B, C, C. Okay, always remember the bonding, right, is attached between C and C. Cannot C and H, uh? cannot C and H, uh? C, C, C. Okay, so you must connect between C and C. How about the H? Let's just show here, CH2, CH2, CH2. Okay, make sure connect, uh? okay, CH2. Okay, uh? some of the students, they, 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 they uh, uh, connect between C and H. Cannot, uh? because the bonding is between C and C. Okay, I show you um, some wrong example. Okay, student common mistake. Uh? Mm, I try to use um, light blue. Okay, some of the students they will connect like this CH3, uh, CH2, CH2, or CH2, uh? CH2, and then here CH2. Okay, some of them will connect like this. Cannot, uh? cannot. Okay, this one also cannot. This is, con uh, this is skeletal structure, not content structure. You have to show. Okay, between okay, my pen always bring me this problem. Oh, where's my eraser? Mm -hmm. Okay, cannot. Okay, so you have to make sure that it's connect between C and C, C and C, C and C, C and C. Okay, yeah? okay, so I hope you all right know what is condensed structure and then the common mistake for condensed structure as well. Huh? Okay, the last structure is skeletal structure. Okay, it's skeletal structure. Okay, structure that show only the carbon skeleton. Okay, just now I already got teaser with you all right. What is a skeletal structure by using cyclopotene? Okay, hydrogen atom are not written. Other atoms such as oxygen, chlorine, nitrogen, etc. Show the double or triple bond as well, same as uh condensed structure must show the double. So now I'm trying okay by using this example. Okay, based on here, you know these are the condensed structure. Okay, condensed structure for the previous exercise. Now we have to transform it into skeleton. Okay, the easiest one I think you know. Okay, this one is like this, it's a square. Okay, yeah? this is it's a square. Okay, always remember C4 H8 is cyclo cyclopotane. Okay, you cannot show a strict chain compound because the name is cyclo, so you have to show it in a square. Okay, for example, cyclopropane like this, cyclopentane like this. Okay, five. Okay, this is cyclohexene. Cyclopentane should be like this. Okay, so this is three carbon. This one is four carbon. This one is five carbon. This one is six carbon. Cyclopotane, cyclopropane, cyclohexene, cyclopentane. Okay. And then how about this one? Okay, four carbon. So um for your information, right? Okay, when I draw a straight line like this, right? Actually, here represent two carbon. Actually, here is represent two carbon. So this one is one carbon, this one is carbon number two. Same for here, carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four. So each point, right, or each mm. dot, right, okay, is equal to one carbon. So for this structure, let's try. Okay, let's try. Uh, there are four carbon. Okay, I will try to draw the dot first. Okay, one, two, three, not enough, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. At position number two, right, there are one chlorine atom. Yeah. Okay, get it? So, okay, this is C1. This one is C2, this one is C3, this one is C4. Okay, each dot, each point, okay, is equal to one carbon. And then this is Cl. Huh? So after I explain, I rub it, I get you all confused. Okay. And then for the third one. Okay, this one must show the C double bond C because you have to show the double bond. Okay, and then after that, there is one C again. So Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, be careful. Uh. For skeletal compound, you cannot show this carbon atom. Uh. You just represent by line. Okay, so be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, so you have to use okay, double bond. So you represent by double bond. Okay, like this. Okay, and then like this. So check. This is C1. Okay, this is C1. C2, carbon, carbon, double bond. This is C3. 
Okay, C3 is here. Okay, and then this one is OH. Okay, you have to show the functional group. This one is C2, this one is C3. Okay, C1, C2, C3. Between C1 and C2, there is double bond. Okay, C1, C2, and then C3 attached with OH group. Okay, so let's check the answer. Yeah, this is the answer. Okay, so we already covered about uh, expanded structure, condensed structure, and skeletal structure. Uh, Digital, is it all right yes, for, teacher us Tang? for advertisement? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you, Teacher Tang. Berita baik untuk semua. Kini, Akademi YouTuber memperkenalkan sistem mata gancaran kredit AYU untuk dikumpul. Jom ikuti kelas tuition live AYU untuk mengumpul kredit AYU dan berpeluang menebus hadiah-hadiah yang menarik. Hadiah bernilai lebih RM10,000 disediakan secara percuma untuk pelajar seluruh Malaysia. Apa tunggu lagi? Tebus ganjaran hebat ini sekarang. Layari www.academyyoutuber.com untuk maklumat lanjut. Before we proceed, let me give you the third and the fourth class code. So the third and the fourth class codes are 5 and 7. 5 and 7. So the third and the fourth class codes are 5 and 7. So without further ado, shall we uh, continue the class, Teacher Kong? Yeah, yes. Thank you, Teacher Tang. Yes, okay. Okay, so just now, right, we already covered about the uh, structural formula for expanded, skeletal, expanded, skeletal, and condensed structure. Now we move on with another one, three-dimensional formula. Okay, just now all are about three or uh, two-dimensional. So three-dimensional, right, actually is like wages, dash, wage, line formula. So describe how the atom of a molecule are arranged in space. So what is wages? Okay, you look at this diagram, right? Okay. Wages is a triangular shape tool and it's affordable in high plane and blah, 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 and so on, right? Actually, for chemistry, also got this kind of structure. Let's check. Yeah. Okay. So this carbon, okay, with four single bond, right? Okay, it's sp 3 hybridization. It has to show the uh, wages. Okay, this is the wages. Okay, point out, uh, point in. And then another one, that's wages. Okay, which is point out. And this is line formula. Okay, this... Um, structure is applied in when we learn about enantiomer and SN1, SN2, okay, hyaluronic. Okay, so we must know what is three-dimensional formula as well. So this is just introduction. Uh, okay, so you must know what is three-dimensional formula, which is wages like this one. This is a full line, okay, point in, and then this one dash wages point out, uh, and then this bromine and hydrogen is the line formula. So if we check in detail, right, okay, this is bromine 18, right? It can draw either way. It can draw either way. It's the same. Okay. So this one, okay, is uh, some running. Uh, this one is bond that line in the plane of the page. Okay. If we show, right, okay, this is, for example, this one, I hope you can see, right? This is a paper, right? It's same line, right? Okay. Same plane as the page, right? So we use the line one. Okay. This is dash wages, right? Point bond that line behind, behind the plane. So imagine this one is a paper, it point behind. Okay, and then for this one, right, okay, this is the wages, okay, point out, project out from the plane, means here, got the band. Okay, so now, uh, wages is point out, dash, dash wages, right, is line behind the plane. Okay, and then the line is line in the plane, the picture. So this is some concept about the three-dimensional structure. Okay, now there are another three ex exercises uh, about expanded content and skeletal structure. Okay, um, Madam Kong give you around one minute. You can try to draw it. Okay, before we continue our discussion, you can try to draw. Okay, the first question, right, is 
condensed structure is given, you have to draw the expanded and skeletal structure. The second question is skeletal structure is given, you have to try the expanded and you have to try to draw the expanded and condensed structure. For the third question, right, expanded structure is given, you have to try to draw the condensed and skeletal structure. Okay, yeah. You just try to take out a piece of paper and then hands on by yourself, huh? Okay, so this is one, two, three. There are three questions. Oh, Madam Kong, do it together with you also, no problem. Okay, first right, I will check for the number of hydrogen. Okay, let's do it slowly and then make sure that the answer is correct. Huh? Okay, so I will check this is C1, C2, C3, and then C3. Okay, C3, right, and then there are CH2. Okay, meaning there are two, be careful, there are two hydrogen. Huh? So, okay. Mm. So I will draw the expanded first. So one, two, three. At the position, okay. This is my pen problem. Every time when I want to live, right? Okay, it will it will play temper. Okay, dia merajuk pen saya memang selalu merajuk macam tu. Okay. So one, two, three hydrogen. One, two hydrogen, and then chlorine. Okay, here. Ah, and then. CH3, so you know right here there are C, there are C, and then with H, H, H. Okay, now you try to fill in the blank for all the hydrogen atoms. Okay, yeah, you must draw the complete one. Huh? H, 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 H. Yeah, double check. Make sure all the carbon atoms with four bonding. Huh? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So after you try um, some practice, like you know hydrogen, right, with one bonding, okay, and that bonding, bonding, and then oxygen with two bonding, and then carbon with four bonding, here. Yeah. Okay. Now we move on to skeletal structure. Skeletal structure, one, two, three, one, carbon two, carbon three, Okay, for carbon three, there are another two carbon. Okay, like this. Okay, so you check C one, C two, C three, and then with two branches, carbon four and carbon five. Okay, yeah, you have double. You don't need to label. Uh. I just cross check with you all. Double check with you all. So this is the skeletal structure. Is it finished? No, no, no. Please be careful. You have to draw the chlorine as well. Uh. So for the chlorine, right? Chlorine at position number three. C1, C2, C3, C3, okay, you can draw like this, chlorine. Okay. Yeah, double check. One, two, three, with one branches carbon, two branches carbon, and chlorine. Okay, yeah. Okay, how about this one? Skeletal structure is given. Okay, so here, right, with C, 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 C. Okay, so you try to expand the structure. Okay, so you have to show the double bond as well. Huh? Actually, this is benzene. Okay. Okay, double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six. And then hydrogen. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. <sighs> Hydrogen. Okay, and then here you have to draw the C. Okay, with double bond O. And then there is one hydrogen. Okay, so this is the expanded structure. Okay, how about condensed structure? Condensed structure CH. You have to show the double bond as well. CH and then CH. Double bond CH. And then here CH, and then here double bond, and then here C. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then here, okay, you attach with another C double bond O, C double bond O, H. Okay, is it right? Is it? 
okay you have to show the seat but condensed structure in this case right okay because this one is benzene ring benzene ring okay we check the proper drawing okay yeah you have to show the bond as well yeah my drawing is not 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 it's quite ugly but i hope you all can understand huh? so you have to connect the bond here here yeah? okay this is uh condensed what is the difference between expanded and condensed actually quite similar but you just no need to show the bond here you need to show the ch bond but from condensed no need okay yeah? but double bond you still have to show huh? okay for the double bond you still have to show okay ah this one much more easier so condensed okay ch3 CH and then bracket CL and then CH2, CH3. I think should be no problem for you all. And then the skeletal, make sure that one, two, three, four. There are four dots. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then here there is a CL. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then CL. Okay. Finish. Check. Is it correct? Here. Yeah. So always remember uh, CL at the third position, CL, okay, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, CL. Uh. Okay, and then here C double bond OH, okay, here C double bond O, H, because it's condensed, you don't need to show the bond. And then skeletal, you don't need to show all, all the hydrogen atom, you just point out. But the other atom, for example, oxygen, sulfur, uh, chlorine, yeah, you have to show it, okay. So double bond, all the C and H, no need to show for the skeletal structure. Okay, and then this one like this. Okay. So now, right, okay, look at this one. Mm. Okay, the school always uh, will classify, classify oh, belajar cemerlang, belajar sederhana, and then belajar lemah ke, okay, belajar, okay, perlu yang berusaha, gigi lagi ke, okay, classification, good, bad, and ugly, and so on, right, okay. So 90 to 100 is classified as grade A plus, and then 80 to 89 is classified as grade A. This, I think this is an SPM, SPM rating. And then for biology, also the same. Biology, right, we have the, um, yeah, laser pointer. Okay, start from uh, kingdom and then phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Okay, species, so homo, uh, homo sespian. Okay, we are homo sespian, right? Okay, also got classification. Same for chemistry. Okay, chemistry, we also need to classify the carbon and hydrogen as well. Okay, we need to classify the class of carbon and class of hydrogen as well okay there are primary carbon secondary tertiary and quaternary carbon and primary secondary and tertiary hydrogen why there 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 is no quaternary hydrogen why okay let's think about it okay so okay for classification of carbon atom right make sure only involve saturated carbon what means by saturated carbon means the carbon with sp3 means four single bond okay Four single bond carbon, uh. okay. This is very important. Uh. Only sp3 hybridization carbon with four single bond can involve, uh, can be classified. Okay, can be classified. Okay, so if multiple bond, right, cannot. Uh. Okay, so the basic concept about classification of carbon atom, right, is when a carbon atom, okay, bonded to only one carbon, that one is primary carbon. If the carbon bonded with two carbon, that one is secondary carbon. If the carbon atom, right, okay, as bonded to three carbon, that one is tertiary carbon. Okay, and then attached with four carbon, then it's quaternary carbon. Okay, how about hydrogen? Okay, the classification of hydrogen atom is depends on the carbon. Okay, the classification of hydrogen atom is depends on the carbon. If if the hydrogen bonded to primary carbon, so that one is primary hydrogen. They bond to secondary carbon, that one is secondary hydrogen. Same for uh, tertiary hydrogen, which is bonded to the uh, bonded to the carbon uh, classified as tertiary carbon. Okay, let's look at some example. Okay. Um, I try to pick some of the carbon atom, right? You try to classify them. Huh? Okay, we we'll do it slowly. Yeah? Okay, right. I pick this one. Okay, students, please try. Okay, the red circle carbon consider as what class of carbon? Okay, I give you around 30 seconds. Okay. Okay, let's try. Uh. What class of carbon? Okay. Let's check. 
Okay, just now I give you the hints already, right? Check the carbon attached to how many carbon atoms. Okay. okay, I try to use highlighter. Okay, for this carbon attached with one, two, three. Okay, so this carbon attached with three carbon. So what is the class of carbon for the red circle carbon? The answer is tertiary. Okay, the answer is tertiary. So this one is tertiary carbon. Okay, very good. Okay, Ahmad Yufan, well done. Okay, let's try for the next example. How about this one, the orange circle? So now I have to erase it. Okay. So it is one attached with one carbon. Two carbon, three carbon, four carbon. So you should know the answer already, right? Yeah, this one is quaternary. Yes, quaternary. Okay, Ama Yupan, please take note your spelling. Huh? Okay, spelling. So this one is quaternary. Okay, quaternary. Okay, if you want to show the quaternary, you can use a four and then a and then a small circle on, on the top, okay? Okay, it's actually this one is like degree, okay? Quaternary. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, how about the green one? No problem, Ama. Okay, typo. Yeah, it's normal. Okay, how about the green circle? How about the green circle? Yeah, wow. One new Atika, Amelia. Betul, huh? Quaternary. Okay, how about the green one? Try the green one. So I try to use highlighter. It only attached with one carbon. Yeah, so what is the answer? Okay, how about the green? The green the green carbon? What is the class of the this occurred? Green carbon. Yeah, I'm waiting for your answer. Okay, Ama and one new article you can try this one. What is the class of this carbon? Yeah, very good. Yes, one new article, Amelia. Yes, primary. Okay, so this is the primary carbon. Okay, wait, oh, primary. Yeah, so this is primary carbon. Okay, let's try one more. How about these two? How about these two? The blue circle. Okay, the blue circle. Wow, I'm so excited. I want to check it's attached with how many carbon? Okay, I want to use yellow color. Wow, it attached to one carbon, two carbon. So is it secondary? And then for this one, attached with one carbon, is it primary? Okay, student, you have to be careful, be careful, be careful, be careful. Okay, yeah, I showed previous one. Classification of carbon atom only involves saturated carbon, which is sp3 carbon. Okay, which four single bond. And then if the carbon with multiple bond means double bond or triple bond, cannot be classified. Okay, Madam ulang, eh? classifikasi carbon hanya melipatkan carbon sp3 sahaja. Maksudnya dia ada empat single bond. Kalau double bond ataupun triple bond cannot be classified. Eh? So that's why untuk case 2 ni, for this two, these two carbon right cannot be classified. Eh? Okay, so for these two right cannot be classified. Okay, always remember this is the common mistake of student. Eh? So for these two carbon right cannot be classified. Okay, after classification of carbon, we move on to, oh, there's another one, purple. So I think this one is easy, one, two. So this is secondary carbon. Okay, so this one is secondary carbon. Huh? 
So after the, the, we learn about the classification for the primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary carbon, right? We move on to the classification of hydrogen. Okay. So let's check for these three carbon. Oh, sorry. For these three hydrogen atoms. What is the class of these three hydrogen atoms? So, okay, if you forgot already, right? Madam Kong remind you all. Okay, the classification of hydrogen atom is depends on the hydrogen, uh, the class of the carbon that attached, uh, sorry, the hydrogen that attached to the carbon. Maksudnya apa? Okay, Madam Kong keliru dah bahasa tu. Okay, anda hanya perlu tengok carbon je. If this one is primary carbon, automatically the hydrogen attached to it, right, is primary hydrogen. Wow, senang kan? Yeah, okay, primary. Okay. How about this one? How about these two hydrogen with purple color? Check for the carbon. Yeah, this is secondary carbon. So these two hydrogen atoms attached to secondary carbon, automatically these two are secondary hydrogen. Okay, how about this one? This one is, yeah, tertiary. Because this hydrogen atom attached to tertiary, Carbon. So this is tertiary hydrogen. Okay, this is the reason why there is no quaternary hydrogen. Kerana carbon semua penuh dah. Okay, this carbon attached with four bonding already. All attached with carbon, carbon, carbon. So no hydrogen. So the maximum right is tertiary hydrogen atom. Okay, so again, uh, always remember, if you check right for the primary carbon, right, sure there are another three hydrogen atoms. Okay, normally like, if hydrogen, it, it, it can be other compound, for example, called halogen as well. Others, atom except carbon. If secondary carbon, there are two hydrogen normally. And then for tertiary carbon, there is only one hydrogen. Huh? Okay, hope you all know how to classify carbon and hydrogen atom. Okay, so you can try all the um, carbon and hydrogen based on this question. Huh? So I already uh, show you all for the primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary carbon, and primary, secondary, tertiary hydrogen atom. Okay, always remember, uh, multiple bond cannot be classified. Uh. Okay, so let's do some application about the classification. Uh. Mm, okay, beside carbon and hydrogen, right, we also have to know the classification of halogen. Actually, apply the same concept. For primary halogen, right, attached with one alkyl group. Actually, what is alkyl group? Alkyl group we represent by R is anything attached with C. For example, CH3 or CH3, CH2. Okay, secondary hydrogen. Okay, you check for this carbon. Oh, we have to check for the carbon that attached to the halogen. Uh. Okay, and then it attached with one, two. Okay, uh, this is primary halogen. And then this one is secondary ha halogen. And then this one, there are three alkyl groups. That's why it's tertiary halogen. Okay, actually it's apply the same concept. Beside halogen, haloalkene, alcohol also the same. Okay, so this one, this C, right? This C, okay, attached to OH. So we check for this C, attached to how many carbon or alkyl group? Attached with one alkyl group. That's why it's primary alcohol. For this one, okay, this C attached with OH, and then this C attached with two carbon, so it's secondary alcohol. For this one, this C, right, attached with three carbon. Okay, so it's tertiary alcohol. Same for amine, okay? Amine also the same, okay? Amine, okay, this is attached to one, is methylamine, okay, it's primary amine. This one attached to two alkyl groups, secondary amine, dimethylamine. And then for trimethylamine attached to three alkyl groups, this one is tertiary amine. So you must understand the concept about the classification of hydrogen and carbon, right? It will help you for classification for haloalkene, alcohol, and amine as well, okay? I think that's all for today, right? Okay, so always remember you have to stay tuned with us on every Sunday, 3 30 until 4 30 p.m. Okay, um, so Sanon, Kitchen Buhina, Kitchen Mawa, and you, right? Okay, you share some, um, you share some about uh, organic chemistry with you all for this semester. Okay, I think it's from January until January until March, we mostly will share about organic chemistry. Okay, yeah. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share my channel. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye. So I pass to uh, to check out.
Okay, uh, with God's grace, uh, we are done with today's sessions. We have learned a lot from Teacher Kong. Hi, Teacher Kong. Um, mm. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, uh, with God's grace, we are done with today's sessions. We have learned a lot from Teacher Kong on yeah, the introductions to organic chemistry. Congratulations to those who are able to follow our sessions from the beginning till the end. And thank you very much, Teacher Kong, for such an interesting lesson. Before I provide the certificate link, let me give you the last two class codes, which are 1 and 6. So the last two class codes are 1 and 6. Now please off the live chat button and click subscribe button if you haven't. This is to show your appreciations to Teacher Kong for giving you a free lesson today. Don't forget to also click the bell button so that you won't miss any new videos and live classes from Teacher Kong. If you like today's class, then please click like and share it to your social media friends. Let's share the knowledge you receive today. Sharing is caring, right? When you have finished, type done in the chat sessions, then I will give you the certificate link. Once again, I would like to thank you, Teacher Kong, for the interesting lesson. And thank you also to Teacher Bibi Lau and Jiku Mawa for being with us today. I think that's all for now. See you in another session. Goodbye, everyone, and have a nice weekend. Bye. Wow, banyaknya hadiah menarik menanti anda. Wah, kini Akademi Youtuber mengambil inisiatif baru di mana memberikan hadiah-hadiah ini secara percuma. Ya, percuma kepada anda semua. Hmm, bagaimana caranya dengan mengikuti kelas tuition online percuma Akademi Youtuber sambil mengutip mata kredit. Anda dapat menukarkannya dengan hadiah-hadiah yang menarik ini. Tunggu apa lagi? Segalanya percuma. Lepaskan peluang tau Dah dapat banyak hadiah menarik Takkan nak lepaskan peluang Layari www.academyyoutuber.com sekarang Untuk maklumat lanjut Dibawakan kepada anda oleh Academy Youtuber